My name is John Zoki. I'm 40 years old. I live in Peachtree City, Georgia. Uh, three little kids and full-time job and jiu-jitsu. Uh, I started back in 2011 because I was a big fan of the UFC. Um, I was 32, never had any experience doing any type of martial arts, wasn't really into sports as a kid. Um, and I uh, wanted to try something a little bit different that wasn't as intense as full-fledged MMA. And I went into the gym and everybody was really cool and I started to realize that you could have that serious physical experience without you know, getting punched in the face, right? Which, you know, as an older guy, like, I'm not really interested in that, so. Well, it was, it was all right. Um, I think that the thing that um, people don't understand about jiu-jitsu is that it's only as rough as you make it, you know? So everybody comes in as a white belt, and they have, you know, what you call, like, you know, white belt syndrome, right? Where they come out 150% as hard as they possibly can because they don't know what the heck they're doing, so their strength is their only asset. What they don't realize is that, um, the quicker you can switch over to being, you know, being technical as your major asset, the less you're going to beat yourself up. So I was naturally a smaller guy, so I had to learn technique really quickly because if I tried to go head on head with strength, um, I was going to lose almost every single time. So, and, and as, as a matter of fact, it's like nerve wracking, right? Because you do lose every single time when you first come in. There's like a period of probably like a month where you do nothing but feel like you know nothing about how to move your body. But then the switch turns pretty quickly, like white belts have a very high learning standard and yeah, everybody goes through their first three months where they're learning and you know, they're getting their butt kicked and it's, it's, it's humility 101. Um, but if you can make it through those three months and you can kind of just switch off the aggression and think about it, then you know, I think that that's where a lot of people like transition to being lifelong jujitsu people is like if they can make it past that that first that first hump. I mean that's why I love jiu-jitsu is because me as a smaller guy I'm 155 pounds 40 years old and I came in with no experience right so me now nine years in it's like I have so much fun because I have these younger people much bigger people coming in and it's like let's see what's up like and uh, you know as a 40 year old guy going out there and being able to hang with somebody that's much younger much stronger, much bigger. It's it's a truly gratifying experience because it's not just aggression and like me like wanting to beat their butt. It's like no, it's like I'm putting together this puzzle that they can't solve and it's extremely complicated and things are tied together and I have to trick them and feint them and they think that they're doing one thing and then I can catch them up in some type of movement that they didn't expect and then I can turn it into like a finishing move. And like when you put all those pieces together, it's one of the most gratifying things that you can do you know like at, I'm not getting into baseball right so but I still got to need to like get my you know physical aggression out and like you know I think that there's something to that right and I can come in here and at 40 I can go as hard as I want to or as light as I want to and uh, generally you know depending on who you're going with they're going to reciprocate um, so it's like, you know, I still want to get after it, like, you know, as, as much as I possibly can. But if I'm feeling like I am came in three days in a row of that, it's like time to back off a little bit. You can come in here and the person that you're going with is generally going to go your pace, right? They even start out hard if you're just kind of playing passive and protecting yourself. They'll usually slow down to your pace as well. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, I got three things in my life right now. It's family, jujitsu, and work. And... It's 100% um, all of those things, right? And it doesn't look the same week over week because it is a full-time job and it's like, you know, three young kids and everything like that. But, um, you know, it's, um, I found that if I uh, balance it correctly, I can do all of those things and they might look different every single week. But um, it's extremely fulfilling to be able to do something outside of work that I'm truly passionate about that, um, you know, keeps me in great shape and, yeah, gives me something to do.